Hello ladies and gentlemen, Toy Dueler here, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to find all the Mega Stones in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. This is part one in a two-part video series that I'm doing on this, and this video will only be covering the Mega Pokemon that were introduced in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Before we begin, I'm going to assume that you defeated the Elite Four and finished the Delta episode, so all the Mega Stones will be available for you. Alright, so let's get right into the guide. Alright, so we're going to be starting things off with the Altaria Knight. So first off, you have to have an Altaria and make sure it's in your party, then go to Lily Cove City and go in front of the Pokemon fan club and you'll see a collector. Talk to him, show him the Altaria, and then he'll feel so happy that he'll give you an Altaria Knight. Next up, we're going for the Odd Knight. So first, you gotta go to the Battle Resort, and then you're gonna wanna go up and make a right. And you're gonna wanna keep heading right until you find a house, and you're gonna go inside of the house, and you're gonna see Looker. Looker's here in the Hoenn region, and he really has no idea what's going on. So in his confusion, he's just gonna give you the Odd Knight. To get the Beedrill Light, it's a little more complicated. You have to travel out to the Sea Mawville, and then find some keys, and do a little questing, and make sure you have the HM Dot and then you'll be able to open up these rooms and eventually you'll find a room that has a whole bunch of nuggets inside of it the TM for Ice Beam and the Beedrillite. Now getting the Deonseyite is really simple just make sure you have a Deonce and go into a Pokemon Center and then a little event will trigger and then after talking to a few weird people you're gonna get a Deonseyite. To get the Galadite all you have to do is go to Fall Arbor Town and then talk to Professor Cosmo and he'll just give you the Galadite for free easy and simple. To get the Glalite, you're going to have to go to Shoal Cave, which is near Moss Deep City. The tricky thing about the Glalite is that you have to go when the tide is low. If you go when the tide is high, you won't be able to access it. So make sure you go when the tide is low, and then just keep going to the bottom of the cave, and eventually you're going to see a big icy place, and you're going to do like a little easy ice puzzle, and then you're going to run into the Glalite. While you're there, I definitely recommend picking up the Shoal Salt, because you're going to need that for another Mega Stone. To get the Lapanite, you're going to have to go back to Mauville City, and then talk to Watson, so he unlocks the second floor of the city for you. Once you're in the second floor, you're gonna want to go all the way to the right side, and eventually you're gonna find a man in a black suit who's trying to get this one guy to pay his rent. Now this guy hasn't paid his rent, so he runs into the building, and you're just gonna want to go walk around, because he goes inside and you can't get in there. And then you're gonna come back after a little bit, and then he'll be back outside again, and he'll just give you the Lapa Knight, saying the guy wasn't able to pay his rent, and he doesn't deserve the stone, so you could have it. To get the Steelix Sight, you're gonna want to make sure that you have the Mock Bike. Now once you have the Mock Bike, you're gonna want to go back to the cave, and then you're gonna see this little slopey area that you weren't able to go up the first time you were here because you didn't have the mock bike. Go up there and then you'll see a little ladder, climb down the ladder and you're gonna be in this little area and then you could use flash here to light it up but you really don't need it because it's pretty easy to see especially if your DS is on bright and you're gonna navigate all the way down and eventually you'll get to this little spot that has the Steelix site. For the Metagross site all you have to do is beat the Elite Four a second time. Once you beat Steven again he'll give you the Metagross site. Make sure you're prepared though because now all the Elite Four members and the champion Steven all have their Pokemon at higher levels than before, and they also use Mega Evolutions. To get the Pidgeotite, you're gonna want to go to Verdant Turf Town and talk to a little girl. She lost her Shroomish, and to find her Shroomish, all you have to do is talk to the town sign in the center of the city. The Shroomish will come out, and then you're gonna get a little cutscene, and then she's gonna give you an intriguing stone. Take the intriguing stone to Mr. Stone in Rustboro City, and he will tell you it's actually a Pidgeotite, and then he'll give you the Pidgeotite. To find the Sable Knight, all you have to do is go back to Sutopolis City, and then go to the center where the Cave of Origin is, and then just keep going to the right instead of going into the Cave of Origin. And over there, you're just gonna see the Sable Knight lying on the ground, and you'll pick it up, and you'll have it. To find the Salamence site, all you have to do is go back to Meteor Falls, and then you're gonna see Zinnia's grandmother, and then she'll just give you the Salamence site for free. Now to get the Sceptileite, Swamperdite, or Blazigonite, all you have to do is go to Route 114, and there's gonna be a stone salesman just kneeling on the ground. You talk to him, and then he will sell you the stones pretty cheaply. The stones he sells depends on what your starter was, so I chose Mudkip, and I was able to buy the Blazigonite and the Sceptileite, but depending on what you chose, it's gonna be different for you. To get the Slowbro Knight, make sure you talk to the man in the Shoal Cave once you find four shoal shells and four shoal salts. You're gonna have to come to the shoal cave at different times of the day because the tide changes depending on whether it's day or night and depending on the tide you're only gonna be able to access one type of thing so you're gonna have to come here at least twice to pick them all up. Or you could also change the time of your DS clock so if you don't want to wait to come back here and get the other shoal item that you missed you could just change your clock and then come back and the tide will be different and you'll be able to collect them all and get your slow bro night. And last but not least, to get the Latios or Latiasite, depending on which version you're playing, all you have to do is talk to your mom, and then she'll tell you about how she saw it sparkling on the ground, and she'll just give you the Latios or Latiasite. 
So that's how you find all the new Mega Stones in Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. The good thing about these games is it's not like X and Y where you're limited to a certain time of day to find these Mega Stones. You could hunt for these Mega Stones anytime you want. So part two of this video is coming soon where I'm going to show you where to find the rest of the Mega Stones, the ones that were in X and Y, so stay tuned for that. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope to help you, and if it did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome Pokemon videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time.